every day I try to live this right. But one day the God command us to train gate and this, keep holy. The Sabbath day. The Sabbath day. But so I'm not sure God, when the Sabbath day is. Guess what? So it's like, but guess what? It's God the opposite of confusion. He made it simple. He said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, the seventh day of the week. So let me so, ask you a question. Did God ever tend for Israel to be amongst other nations? Meaning dealing with them, take dealing with their customs. Mm -hmm. Dealing with them, period. No, no, not at all. Why do we want to bring the kingdom? But the answer now is we really have disseminated. We pick on their customs. Right. We lost our customs. We, hey, we lost the seventh day. We lost our dress code. We lost our uh, dietary law. That's and right. we start pay, taking on their customs. That's why God don't want us to be amongst them. That's right. Our forefathers never cared about the other nations. We want to be separate. The worst thing we did in America was want to integrate with our enemies. Right. And be ye separate. And be what? Separate. Baby. You know Israel, right? But you don't want Christ to deny you when he come back like, man, hey man, hey, Christ, I brought people to you. I share stuff on, on YouTube, on Facebook, whatever you got going on, even for us. But the key is you got to repent and keep the commandments of God, my brother. That's yeah. right. So let me ask you a question. Did God ever tend for Israel to be amongst other nations? Meaning dealing with them, take, dealing with their customs. Mm -hmm. Dealing with them, period. No, no, not at all. Right? He wanted us to be set apart. He wanted us to be set apart, so why do we want to bring the kingdom? First Kings 8 and 52. Let me show you. So like I said, we ain't talking about the horn on bottom, but we cannot be amongst them. Yeah, we're going to work around them. We're going to be cordial. We're going to uh, treat them respect the same way we treat our, treat our own people respect. But for them getting the kingdom and want to be, you know what I'm saying, like be down with them? Nah, they can't be down with them like that. They trying to come in Isaiah chapter four, uh, 14 says so. Give me that Isaiah. No, first King 8 and 52. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get right back. The book of First King, chapter 8 and verse 52. Bring it out. That thine eyes may be open unto the supplication of thy servant uh -huh. and unto the supplication of thy people Israel uh -huh. to hearken unto them in all that they call for unto thee. Uh -huh. For thou didst separate them. He did what? Thou didst separate them. He did what? Separate them. He made us holy, special, set apart people, right? From separate them from among all the people of the earth. So therefore, read on. To be thine inheritance, as thou spakest by the hand of Moses, thy servant. So what happened to when we came into the uh, to the land of Jerusalem, to Canaan? They had to go. The other, the other the Canaanites, the Hittites, now the Amorites. We put them up. We put them away, right? You know how we put them over with that sword, right? Give me uh, Sirach 17, 17. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna do that physically today, but when Christ comes back, it's gonna be like that. Everybody gonna go to your own. The scriptures say everybody gonna return back to their own people, right? And then if you found wanna be hand in hand with them, trying to bring them like with you, like on your same level, Christ said he's gonna put you to them. Get that. All right. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 17 and verse 17. Bring it up. For in the division of the nations. But what? In the division of the nations. God divided all nations. If he wanted to all be one people, he would have made us all one people, right? In the divisions of the nations of the whole earth. He said a ruler over every people. He said a ruler. He said presidents over other people. That's why we were supposed to vote. So they can vote for a president, but he said a ruler over those people. Come on. But Israel, Wait, who? But Israel Three. is the Lord's portion. Well, we the Most High God's portion, right? Isaiah 13 and is that five? Isaiah 13 and five. I'm about to give back. Isaiah 13 and five. About being hand in hand. The book of Isaiah, chapter 13 and verse 15. Bring it out. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. He says, everyone found joined to the other nations shall be what? Every one that is found shall be thrust through, Great. and every one that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. So Christ gonna kill you with the sword if you want to join with other people, because you gotta be for your people. You gotta be for the people that Christ died for. Our forefathers never cared about the other nations. We want to be separate. The worst thing we did in America was going to integrate with our enemies. Ah. When we integrated, what happened to us? Tell me, Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King, yes. Not only him, but what happened to us when we integrated? We started to mix with them. We started yeah, we mixed, with God. But the astronauts, we really assimilated. We took on their customs. Right. We lost our customs. We, hey, we lost the seventh day. We lost our dress code. We lost our uh, dietary law. That's and right. we started pick, taking on their customs. That's why God don't want us to be amongst them. That's because right. they're unclean. 2 Corinthians 6 and 17. Guess what? In the kingdom of heaven? Yes. 
everybody's gonna have to keep the commandments of God they're gonna off with their head, right? We're gonna force them to keep the commandments of God. We're gonna be forced, they're gonna be forced to. They ain't gonna have no choice. But if they don't, they're gonna get put to death forever, right? The book of 2 Corinthians. Chapter 6 and verse 17. Bring it out. Wherefore, come out from among them. So God commanded the Israelites, come from among these people. Stop trying to be like them. Read. And be ye separate. And be what? Separate. We are meant to be separate from all other people on the face of this earth. They might want to say it's division, but God sent division upon this earth. Give me, uh, give me Christ. Why is he coming to say peace or division, right? Christ ain't come back to say, uh, come back. And to get us, get us talking about Kumbaya, we're hand in hand with the same people that raped and pillaged our people and stole our last, you know what I'm saying, stole our identities. Be our, uh, put marks in our backs, fed our kids as alligator bait to the alligator for uh, crocodile shoes. Right. No. The book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 34. Bring it out. Think not that I, can't, that I am come to spend peace on the earth. So Christ the Black Messiah, do not think that I'm coming to spend peace upon this earth. But what? I came not to send peace, but, what? but a sword. But a sword, war. For I am come to set a man at variance against his father, uh -huh. and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be they of his own household. God always had the vision. Give me a second answer real quick. Let me show you something. I'm going to sum it up. You want to go? So you sure, absolutely sure that, that the other nation's not going to be saved with us? I mean, could, can they can they repent and keep the commandments of God? I mean, look, you said they're gonna be called least. I mean, no. No, I said they're gonna be called least. They're yeah, not yeah, getting yeah. the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can't get the kingdom of heaven that belongs to the Israelites. That's right. Get second edges real quick. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna go on and go on and finish up. Isaiah 14 should have sealed the deal. Revelation 13 should have sealed the deal. You fighting with that, bro. Because you because fighting with all, it. You got family. Okay. Hey, let no. me ask you a question. You got Edomites in your family? No. You do with Edomite women? Nah. You never had that with my woman? I mean, yeah, I mean. See, yeah. I know. Back, I mean, back, it's an issue, bro. Back when I was, you know. Yeah, it's an issue, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, guess what? Uh, guess what? You might say, it's some good ones, right? But, but guess what? When Jeremiah, he's a righteous man, he still had to go into captivity. So who did Paul come and teach to? The Israelites. It was all Israelites, like yes. every single yes. uh, Gentile. Yes. I mean, yeah, to yes. the all, Gentiles, all the Gentiles was Israelites. Yes. Okay. Let me show you. Because. What happened to the northern king in the uh, in the book of First Kings twelve? What happened to him? It was a kingdom split, right? You got the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom, right? Right. So the ten tribes was the northern king, like Ephraim, right? They went in idolatry first, so God did what with them? He cut them off, right? Give me that. Give me that uh, history about when he cut them off. So Hosea four and seventeen. Like Galatians, yes. you know, all of them. All Everybody was Israel. black people. Yes. Yeah, yeah, all the, uh, yeah, yeah. It's they so called black, so called yeah, black, it's been the name. It was Israelite. I'm, I'm gonna prove it. I'm gonna prove it the word of God, but watch this. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, and verse 17. Bring it out. Ephraim is joined to idols. He says the northern kingdom is joined to idols. They into idolatry. So, what God said to do with them? Let him alone. He told us, the Jews, to let them alone. That's why the sister, when he read the book of John, chapter 4, she was like, wait a minute. Hey, the Jews don't have no dealing with the Samaritans. Because they was cut off at the time, but they understand the prophecy was that Christ was coming back to bring us back together as one kingdom again. That's right. Right? So we all Gentiles. No, we're not Gentiles. We was living like Gentiles at yeah, one yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. We was living like Gentiles, African American, that's a Gentile. But now we know we the real Jews. That's right. Come on. Give me um give me that Hosea one. Hosea one and ten. The book of Hosea, chapter one and verse eight. Now when she had wind. Laruhama, she conceived and bare a son. Uh -huh. Then said God, call his name Loami, uh -huh. for ye are not my people. So God says, call his name Loami, saying, you're not the people of God no more. If you're not called the people of God, no Israelite no more, you're a Gentile now. Now you're uh -huh. a heathen or a nation, right? Read on. And I will not be your God. And he was not their God at the time because they were an idolatry. They didn't want to serve the living God. So they was considered the other nation. Gentiles. Yeah, and we would too. At one point, the Jews were in the captivity, in the Greek captivity. Grecians was Greek-speaking Jews. Read. Yet the number of the children of Israel. But it says yet. Come on. The number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea. And we as the sand of the sea. They cannot number us. They sit out of senses like, uh, like every year trying to number us. But they cannot, we cannot be measured or numbered. Come on. 
which can now be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. That in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. When God says you are not my people. There it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living God. Now when Christ died, he reconciled them back into the fold as the Israelites. When Christ said, I got other sheep, which is not under the fold I must bring, I got to bring them too. He was talking about the northern kingdom of Israel. Right. So now, like in the book of Ezekiel chapter 37, where we've got the sign, the two sticks, the southern king and northern stick, has been joined together, right? No, no longer are we called two nations. Give me that real quick. Yes, Give me that here, Ezekiel chapter 37. Yes, <clears throat> mm -hmm. The book of Ezekiel. Chapter 37 and verse 17. Now, some, now some of the Jews, like, you know what I'm saying? Look, they didn't think it was fair that the Northern Kingdom was being grafted back into their own fold because they grew up without Christ. They weren't keeping, I mean, they grew up without animal sacrifice. They grew up with keeping the laws. But under Christ, you can repent and believe in him and still get the kingdom of heaven because the promise was never based on animal sacrifice. The promise was always uh, based on the bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? right. Come on. But Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 16. Uh, bring it up. Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick. He says, take one stick. And write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel. Judah, right? Judah is the uh, it's the southern kingdom. You had Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And for the children of Israel, the other, the other northern kingdom, right? The children of Israel, his companions. Well, they, they was talking about the other two, <clears throat> Levi and Benjamin, read. Then take another stick. Take another stick. And write upon it. For Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, uh -huh. and for all the house of Israel, his companions. So this is all the other ten tribes, right? And join them one to another uh -huh. into one stick, uh -huh. and they shall become one in thine hand. Get to uh, verse 21. Verse 21. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel. He from, says, I'm going to take the children of Israel, that new covenant. I'm going to take the children of Israel. From among the heathen. He's going to take us from among the heathen because they don't supposed to be around us like that. Come on. Whither they be gone and will gather them on every side uh -huh. and bring them into their own land. He's going to bring us until Jerusalem. Right. So let you know the real Jews are not in Jerusalem. That's right. The League of Nations put them there in 1948, the Israelis. Right. They are not the people of God. Come right. on. And I will make them one nation. He's going to make us one nation because we was divided. We was divided as Blacks and Hispanics. We was divided by Southern Kingdom, Northern Kingdom, right? I will make them one nation and the land upon the mountains of Israel. Uh -huh. And one king shall be king to them all. One king shall be king unto us all. Who he's talking about? Christ the Black Messiah. That's Come on. right. And they shall be no more two nations. No more what? Two nations. No more what? Two nations. That was the other nation when it says, we don't deal with the other nation. Because they was considered another nation right. at that time. You understand that? Mm -hmm. So, who hey, was the Gentile? What verse that is? This is Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 21. Okay. Now, go to, uh, go to, um, you said something about Galatians. Go to 1 Corinthians real quick. Let me show you. Go to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, right? Now, check this out. Paul always gave you a clue who you're speaking to in his letters, right? What do I mean by this? He says, beloved. What does he say? Saints to the elect. What does he say, right? To the firstborn. Who is he talking about? You can't find nobody besides the children of Israel being saint, but love, right? Or the firstborn, right? You can't right. do that. The elect. They all, all those titles belong to the Israelites. Can we agree with that? Mm -hmm. Already. Right, read that. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 12 and verse 2. Bring it out. Ye know that ye were Gentiles. You hear that? Paul's told the Corinthians, right? He says, you know you were Gentiles. Carried away unto these dumb idols. You want the people of God no more because I cut you off for being an idolatry. You was carried away to those dumb idols. Read. Even as you were led, wherefore I give you to understand. Now, jump up to verse 10, chapter 10 and verse uh, 1. Now, check this out. In uh, two chapters previous, Paul about to give you some knowledge. Read that. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 10 and verse 1. Bring it up. Moreover, brethren. Moreover who? Brethren. I forgot about brethren. He called the Corinthians brethren. Who is Paul brethren? The same, you know, he, there's the same people, the same people. So you understand, Paul just called the Corinthians brethren? So what they mean the Corinthians was? All brethren. Right. Keep reading though. Moreover, brethren, I would not that you should be ignorant. Uh -huh. How that all our fathers. All who? 
our fathers, all our fathers, were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. Who passed through the Red Sea? Uh, Moses. Moses and who else? Uh, the tribe. The Israelites. That's right. That's right. Read. And were all baptized unto Moses Read. in the cloud and in the sea, uh -huh. and did eat all, and did all eat the same spiritual meat. And did all drink the same spiritual drink. Great. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them. And that rock was Christ. And Christ was their rock that followed. Christ led us out of Egypt. Christ always been our savior. Christ killed the firstborn Egyptian for us. He, he killed all the Canaanites off us. The people don't understand. Christ coming to value in the book. So Christ ain't never been nobody's savior but the Israelites, right? That's right. Even you go to Romans. Get Romans 1 real quick. Here, Romans 1 and verse 1. I'm going to just show you. I'm just give you a couple of examples showing you that every time he wrote to the letter, he wrote the letters, he was talking to the Israelites. The book of Romans, chapter 1 and verse 1. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God, which he had promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scripture. Verse 7. To all that be in Rome, Beloved of God. Who? Beloved of God. Who is the beloved of God? To all the being wrong, the beloved of God. No, no, Who's beloved no, no, no. of God? Who did God in the Bible say he loved? Uh, what scripture says this? Give me Ruth 3 and 36. That's a real show. Ruth, For Ruth 3 and 36. Remember Deuteronomy 7 and 6, God says, you're a holy people. I didn't say my love upon you because you was more in number. Right? Because I love you. Read that. The book of Baruch, chapter 3 and verse 36. Bring it out. He hath found out all the way of knowledge and hath given it unto Jacob, his servant, uh -huh. and to Israel, his beloved. Who is Israel? Israel, his beloved. Now go back to Romans 1 real quick. It's really simple, you know what I'm saying? That's why you got to read precept upon precept. Here a little, there a little. Old Testament, New Testament. Read. Romans chapter 1 and verse 7. To all that be in Rome, all that be in Rome, beloved of God, all you Israelites that's in Rome, called to be saints. Called to be what? Saints. Or called to be saints. Who are called to be saints? Who are the saints of God? Give me Psalm 55. His people. Do you understand that the Gentiles or the Israelites? Yeah, I see. That's what I'm going to go. You gonna go study? Yeah. You gonna try to uh, come back there? Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna go try. I'm from France. Oh no, come back. Okay, I'll praise. I'll praise. I'll praise. <laughs> I'll pray. Yeah, hey, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, the kid, like I said, the promise is always. Did y'all read Acts 23? Acts 13 and 23 is always just promised to us. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'll pray. You got to understand that Christ, when Christ walked this earth, he said, I'm only sent but to the lost sheep of Israel. Paul was learned himself from Christ himself. So even the disciples understood, even them and Paul understood the Gentiles of the other nations. Right. I mean, it wasn't the other nation, no, it was, it was the Israelites, right? So, Christ not gonna teach anything contrary to Paul. I, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell y'all not to deal with the uh, with the heathen, but when Paul, you come, I'm gonna tell you contrary and go deal with them. The reason he says go you out into all nations, Matthew 20, 19 says this. Why he says go go you out into all nations and make disciples. Why he say that? Because disciples of his people, like he was telling the all nations of all his people to go make disciples out, of, you know. I I was, all praise, so guess what we happened to us on the station? We were scattered all over the earth. That's why he said, all, all praise, right. you got it. So, bro, hey, come see with the street port, because the scriptures say you got a current gate. That's right. You got, got Zephaniah 2 and 1 real quick. Zephaniah 2 and 1. Hey, you can't be a loner, bro. I see you call you, how yourself a loner. You can't do that, bro. Can't do that. Can't be like a, uh, 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 like, like, you know what I'm saying? You can't be out there like a lamb. You know what I'm saying? A, a Satan is, a, is a, a, a roaring lion trying to seek who he can devour, right? Yeah, yeah. Come right. on. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it out. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together all nation not desire. Some more brother. What's your name again? Tyrone. 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 Get a, hey, get yourself together with your brothers, bro. You no, know say it's more to learn, bro. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah. and see us, man. Hey, we got to take back the kingdom. Luke 14 and 23. This last scripture, I'm going to get to you. God didn't wake you up to the Nazi Jews like to be alone or like. To be a individual life. Individual life. Yeah, we call them individual life. I call myself on a lifestyle when I was in the world, so it's just with me. I got you. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Got the tattoo with the LL on my. Yeah. That's what I was worried about. I'll pray. You know what you're saying now, though, right? I'll pray. Read this. This is what Christ told you because you you his servant. Read that. The book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 23. Bring it up. And the Lord said unto the servant, 
Go out into the highways and hedges. Hey, Tyrone, you guys, sir, he says to go where? Go out into the highway and hedges. That means go outside, get out that couch, and go out and gather your people back to him. That's right. Wake up your people. Right. Show them how great they are. Show them the kingdom of heaven belongs to them only if they repent and keep the commandments. Come on. And compel them. And you're going to force them with this Bible, with the word of God, not with no, no fair speeches. Not no, uh, you know what I'm saying, no shucking the job, but you're going to pale them with the word of Christ. Read. Right. And compel them to come in that my house may be filled. That his house may be filled, that Israel may be filled. That's right. Right? So we got to do what Christ said. Yeah, a lot of people ain't going to make it. But guess what? Yeah, we know that. That's a prophecy. Yeah. Two thirds going to die. Yeah. Right. But hey, Philip is 2 and 12. Philip is 2 and 12. But hey, we got to try our part because God called us the watchmen of Israel. So we got to get one to our people. The prophets always gave warning, didn't he? Did they not? Yeah. Did Noah? Noah gave warning. Noah said, hey, God's about to kill all y'all. Y'all better repent. And everybody was looking, man, that nigga crazy. That nigga crazy. Ain't never rain. Come on, go rain. What the hell is rain? Hey, it was too late. You know what I'm saying? The same thing's going to happen. It says like in the days of Noah, it's going to be the same thing going on. That's it was interracial right. marriage. It was homosexuality. It was crime. Right. It was a father. It was murder going on on this earth. And it's very rampant today. So we know Christ is on the way to redeem his people. Come on. The book of Philippians, chapter 2 and verse 12. Come on, bring it up. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, Come on. not as in my presence only, but now much more Amen. in my absence, work out your own salvation. Not wrong. Work out your salvation, bro. With fear and trembling. With fear and trembling. Because you, hey, you know Israel, right? But you don't want Christ to deny you when he come back. Like, man, hey, man, hey, Christ, I brought people to you. I share stuff on, on YouTube, on Facebook, whatever you got going on, even for us. But the key is you got to repent and keep the commandments of God, my brother. That's yes, right. Don't get, don't get, I don't know what you call it. You call him what? Yahuwah? Yeah, Yahuwah. Yeah, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? You call him that, but the thing about it, you got to uh, keep the commandments of God. That's right. more important. They said, I'm a, all, all those are titles. Say, so I'm going to magnify my word above all my names. That's right. You understand? Did you ever hear that before? Uh, nah. Get that real quick. We know the word. What is the word of God? What is the word according to the scripture? Uh, the Savior, the Messiah. Yeah, he is, but it's another thing. It's Isaiah 8 and 20 says, the word to the law and to the testimony. The law of God is the word. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 138, verse 2. Bring it out. I will worship toward thy holy temple Come on. and praise thy name for uh -huh. thy loving kindness uh -huh. and for thy truth. Uh -huh. For thou has magnified thy word. God has magnified his word. Above all thy name. Above all his names. The names are really titles. Because nobody know his name. We ain't got the most high God name or Christ's name. It tell you that in Revelation 3 and Revelation 2. And also Christ is called the word of God. That's right. That's, Reve that's uh, Psalm 138, Psalms 138 verse 2. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, like, I ain't saying you, but some other brothers, you know what I'm saying? They get, uh, sister, they get trip, uh, tripped up on. Man, y'all ain't speaking in Hebrew. Do we even know the Hebrew today? Because what Christ said, what God was, God says in Zephaniah, when y'all repent, get that real quick. You know what I'm saying? You can't let that be the stomach of the block. A name, somebody might say Yahweh, somebody say Yeshua, some of uh, Yeshua, uh, Yahweh, uh, what's that? Yahweh, you know what I'm saying? I can't even say it, man. Yahweh. It yeah, it's that Yahweh, but it's like the Yahweh, Yahweh, something like that. Yahweh, yeah. Yahweh. Wait, wait, listen to this. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 3 and verse 9. For then will I turn to the people a pure language. When Christ come back, you know what I'm saying? He gonna turn to us their pure language. Back to Hebrew. Because a white man came up with that Yiddish. Talking about his Hebrew. Read. That they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. With one consent. Then we gonna be serving with one consent. We gonna understand. We gonna have that pure language back. Revelation 3 and 12. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.
Ist 